hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video now today's video by the title you can tell already what it's going to be about it's going to be my top 10 realistic school lunch options that i give my toddler okay yes 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 there are a thousand and one videos like this on youtube you know school lunch ideas what my kids eat in a week what my kids take to school and all of that and many of them are a bit unrealistic okay especially if you're living in nigeria you are a working mom you just don't have the time to wake up every day to cook meals like serious serious meals for your kids to take to school every day that's me basically every day okay i just want to wake up in the morning have about 30 minutes to whip something up for me to take to school and call it a day all right so let me let you guys into my top 10 realistic school lunch ideas that i give to my toddler this is also the start of my top 10 series okay yes a new series about to begin on the Almangu channel my top 10 series so if you want me to talk about top 10 anything top 10 in beauty lifestyle fashion whatever it is leave it in the comment section below and i will get right to it all right all right without further ado let's get right into it this top 10 is in no particular order number one indomie and egg yes indomie and egg it is easy it is just stress-free okay for me as a mother and i don't even buy indomie in cartons in my house because to be honest mia tends to eat the most indomie more than myself or my husband but indomie is such an easy option all i have to do is wake up in the morning cook one pack of indomie for her the spices are already inside the pack and i fry like one egg for her mia does not like boiled egg she hates boiled egg she calls boiled egg white egg and she doesn't like it so each time she has to eat egg it has to be fried and i just you know fried for her so i try to make indomie interesting for her i could make it into like a jollof indomie or a jollof stir fry indomie you know use some onions use some bell peppers just make it look really really nice and then fry her egg make it look very nice make it scrambled instead of just plain fried egg and she tends to enjoy that a lot more so yes number one indomie and egg very easy very important very accessible a lot of kids love indomie i don't even know this thing people say sometimes about indomie is not healthy for children who are they making the indomie for excuse me the indomie company who are they making the noodles for? Who are they making it for to eat? It's mostly children first before even adults. So Indomie is very easy, it's easily accessible, easy to make, ready in literally like 10 minutes and you are good to go. So yes, my number one thing, Indomie and fried egg. Number two, pasta. Yes, another very easy option. Most times for me, yeah, I do macaroni. She loves macaroni so much. So I make macaroni for her almost like the same jollof way, but I tend to spice it up for her with sausages. Mia loves sausages. So I will just slice up one sausage in her macaroni and oh my goodness, she loves it. Super, super easy to make macaroni most times if i must make her spaghetti the same thing i always try to make it interesting for her with like bell peppers and things that have color because you know kids tend to love things that are colorful and are interesting to the eye first before they eat it most times when i give her sausages i don't give her like eggs again i just give her either or so macaroni and sausages will be like my second school lunch idea that i give to my toddler number three rice yes this is nigeria we eat rice every other day okay rice rice and rice mia loves all kind of rice but the one rice i don't give her to take to school is rice and stew i just feel like it can be a bit more messy than other kinds of rice so i don't give her rice and stew to take to school instead most likely it will be jollof rice that i have probably made a day before or fried rice or stir fried rice or something i think there are one or two mornings i've made her like fresh stir fried rice maybe like chicken stir fried rice all i have to do is just to boil the rice a night before prep the ingredients so that when i wake up in the morning all i have to do is to stir fry the rice you know with all the ingredients and all of that so yes either it is stir fried rice or jollof rice but rice guys because rice see is our food in this country okay and the kids have to eat the rice too all right so sometimes i'll give her rice maybe like with you know fried fish or you know chicken or i don't give her beef most times maybe chicken chicken chunks or chicken nuggets or you know small pieces of chicken here and there but yes rice you can never ever ever 
go wrong with rice if i want to give her a treat that day i'll even add plantain on top for her one thing i would say is try to make your rice a day before so that all you have to do in the morning is wake up and warm it up and pack it up that's basically it because trust me you don't want to start making jollof rice early in the morning you don't want to start doing that so do it a night before and make it easier for yourself in the morning my opinion number four one of mia's ultimate favorites chips and ketchup yes mia loves chips or french fries depending on where you are watching me from and most times to make my own life easy i buy chips frozen i'm not about to wake up in the morning and be peeling potato fresh potato and eh -eh, i don't have energy for all that so i buy my chips already frozen from the supermarket and put it in my freezer all i have to do is to wake up in the morning most times a night before i put the bag of chips in the fridge to the first a little bit so that when i wake up in the morning it's easier to just you know salt it and fry it okay for her so yes i always have a bag of chips in my freezer staple like see i cannot come and be stressing my life and mia loves chips mia can eat chips every single day for the rest of her life <laughs> she loves chips so so much so yes french fries or chips and ketchup she loves ketchup and i think i made her love ketchup so much she loves ketchup a lot i always have this small small containers that have covers where i just pour ketchup for her for the day and yeah she enjoys it she loves it i give her chips at least once a week to take to school and she loves it very easy easier when you already have the chips that are already cut up and stored in your freezer super easy number five sandwiches and in mia's case by sandwiches i mean bread and butter cut into a particular shape yeah because mia is not one of those kids that enjoys to eat lettuce tomatoes egg all those things inside bread she doesn't like it she likes her food simple so if you have a kid that loves you know all those bobo tibo inside bread no wahala you can do them like a proper club sandwich no shaking but for me a rose it is just bread and butter and then cut it into certain shapes that she likes most times i would add a sausage so that by the time she eats the bread and butter and eats the sausage it tends to hold her tummy right so yes bread and butter or in your case a sandwich okay a sandwich and then with something else on the side to go with it super easy again that's very easy all i have to do in the morning is wake up bring out the bread butter it cut it up and plate it inside finish maybe what i would then do is to fry the sausage a little bit and that's it she always clears it she never comes back home with any of that every time i give it to her the next thing pancakes mia loves pancakes her favorite things are pancakes she loves pancakes a lot that might be a little bit just slightly more difficult to do in the morning because you have to like mix it up for me i don't use pancake powder i mix up my pancakes from scratch you know the flour the baking powder the sugar the milk the eggs the essence i do all of that from scratch i have to make that up nicely before i now fry it for her but trust me any day i give her pancakes to take to school and i inform her that i packed pancakes for her she's very 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 happy and oh do not forget do not forget forget to always put syrup mia loves syrup so so much she cannot eat her pancake without syrup the same little containers i put ketchup when she takes chips to school i use those same containers to put syrup for her to eat her pancakes and then with her pancakes also i give her either a sausage or i give her some eggs whichever one she loves i give to her and yeah she never comes back see most of these dishes mia does not come back home with them she will eat everything work everything in the school before she comes back and then by the time she now comes back from school her stomach is like this i give her about two slices of pancakes or three depending on what the size is and yeah she loves them next up will be french toast this one is also new because it's very recently i introduced her to french toast and she loves french toast so on the days i don't give her pancakes i will do french toast for her instead french toast and pancakes have almost the same kind of preparation time and preparation method um, but with french toast you have to like do the batter or do the mixture and dip the bread in the mixture and then you know put it in the pan so she loves french toast again i give this to her with syrup because she loves her syrup okay so french toast or pancakes it depends for me i give her either or it just depends and she loves it next up would be yam yes yeah this is nigeria see this is nigeria stop cracking your head give these children what you are eating yam and i give her yam either boiled 
or fried okay so i just give her a few pieces of yam i either boil or i fry it if i'm frying it i chop them up like chips for her so it's like yam chips for her if i'm boiling i chop them in squares and then most times it goes with maybe like an egg sauce or stew with chicken you know something like that but yes yam is a very good accessible easy option wake up in the morning slice your yam wash it boil it in 10 minutes is ready or fry it in 10 minutes is ready and you are good to go next up another of mia's favorites plantain mia is obsessed with plantain and i always try to buy plantains that are you know ripe to an extent not too ripe not overripe and not unripe just in the middle okay sweet ripe plantain and for some reason mia enjoys eating plantain with ketchup i don't know why but she loves to eat plantain with ketchup whenever i give her fried plantain to take to school i give her that with scrambled eggs or maybe like an omelette and she loves 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 she can never ever say no to plantain trust me just cut them up in a way that they can easily eat it okay maybe in tiny slices they love it that way but yeah she loves plantain she doesn't really like boiled plantain yeah i don't think she really really likes boiled plantain but most times if i'm giving her plantain it has to be fried and she loves her fried plantain and her ketchup or her fried plantain with egg sauce she loves 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 it all right then last but not least we have sweet potatoes also just like chips or just like yam my problem with sweet potatoes is that it can be difficult to peel i don't like peeling that thing that is why i don't give it to her as often as i should but i don't like to peel it's a hassle to peel but it's easy to just prepare all right so all you have to do is just to you know peel it and either boil or fry and most times again they go with either like an egg sauce or some stew or some chicken gravy or just something okay most times i just whip up something really fast on the burner and i just add that to the food and she loves it see all these options mia is obsessed okay she loves them or literally from like eight to two i tend to always add something for her so she also has like a snack box where i always put her snack of the day most times there's always a drink it could be ribena this is not sponsored okay but it's what i give my child it could be ribena she for some reason enjoys the ribena strawberry flavor compared to the black currant but the reason why i like to give her ribena is because it contains vitamin c all right so she gets her daily dose of vitamin c from that pack of ribena that she drinks or takes to school so it could be ribena it could be caprison it could be chivita uh, juice those tiny ones but i always make sure i give her a drink to take to school obviously aside her bottle of water and obviously in addition to all of this i don't give her just a small food flask of this food for the whole day and i always make sure i give her a fruit okay so it's either i give her grapes which she loves by the way she's obsessed with grapes it's either i give her grapes or i give her an apple or a banana or I give her gummies. Now the gummies I give to her are by Welch's and those ones are fortified also with vitamin C and some vitamins. So it's not just sweet gummies, okay? She's getting something from them. So it's either I give her gummies or I give her fruit options like grapes or you know an apple or a banana depending on what i have at home on that particular day then also i would throw in something fun maybe like a cookie or you know a pack of biscuits or a pack of potato chips or pringles or something that she can also nibble on aside her actual school lunch i always have three options biscuits cookies munchies or pringles so either of those i will throw into her lunch box as well and by the time this girl is going to school her lunch box is this heavy and then she will come back home with nothing she has eaten everything between 8 and 2 p.m crazy okay guys so that is everything i wanted to come and share with you guys in this video my top 10 realistic school lunch ideas school lunch options that i give to my toddler mia rose hope you guys enjoyed watching this video again if you want me to do a top 10 on anything at all let me know in the comments below and i will do that i'll see you guys in my next video subscribe and comment like thumbs up all that good stuff i'll see you guys Mwah. bye